Whatever you calling my phone for, I don't want it I see some things, every connection's nothing that I want And it's time to have some fun, spend some love, throw some money I'm not in the house no more, fucked up and worried Let go of me, let go of me I said let go of me, let go of me What's up y'all, it's your girl Katora and welcome to Katora's World so today, we are going to be talking about how you need to stop trying to be a hero in your villain's life. Please stop. You trying to be a hero in your villain's life is going to cause you to spiral. It's going to cause you to go through emotions that you do not need to go through. A bunch of heartache. A bunch of wondering why this person don't want to be bothered with you. Why this person is treating you this way. Why is this person treating you so wrong? What can I do to make this person treat me better? What did I do to make this person treat me this way? You just get flooded with a bunch of questions and emotions that you don't need the answers for. Because you already have the answers for it. This person just simply is a villain in your life. This person just wants to bring you nothing but pain and misery it's no reason why somebody is treating you so mean and so negative but you're still trying to hold on to that relationship and you're still trying to hold on to how things used to be things aren't that way anymore things will probably never be that way anymore but until you grasp that reality, you are always going to go through the same term oil that this person been putting you through. And nothing is going to get better. Nothing is going to change. You cannot force somebody to treat you how you want to be treated or how you feel like you deserve to be treated. Unfortunately, that's just not the way that life works. And whether it's your mother, your father, your sister, brother, cousin, uncle, auntie, Boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mother, baby father, husband, wife, whomever. Whoever this may be. If that person is treating you like crap, you need to let that person go and stop trying to do things to please this person. Trying to coerce them into being a better person towards you. You cannot bribe somebody to being someone that wants to be around you. You cannot bribe someone to be someone that cares about you and cares about your feelings and, and cares about how they treat you. You cannot bribe somebody. It doesn't matter what positive thing that you do for this person or what grand favor you do for this person. If that person does not want to treat you right, they will not treat you right. Stop calling to have them spend time with you, begging them to spend time with you. Stop calling them trying to get them to see how much you really love them and care about them. It does not work. Unfortunately, it just does not work. And you trying so hard is only showing them how weak you are. And I'm not calling you weak, but that's how they're going to look at you, as if you're weak. And they're going to prey on that because they know that this is something that you desperately want. So they're going to keep using you and abusing you mentally, emotionally. They're going to keep mind fucking you over and over and over again because they're able to get whatever they want from you. But they genuinely don't feel the way that they try to make it seem like they feel when they're trying to get whatever from you. So it's going to feel like emotional or mental abuse. Because then once they get what they want, they revert right back to the same person that they was. And there's nothing that you can do to make this person change their mind. They have to be the one to change their mind. You cannot force them to change their mind. If your mom don't want to spend time with you, your mom don't want to answer your calls, your mom is being neglectful towards you, there's nothing that you're going to be able to do to get her to act differently, especially if she's been acting this way for years. And that goes for any member of your family. That goes for anybody that's in your life. You cannot force your dad to be a dad. 
You cannot force your siblings to get along and to love each other the way siblings are supposed to love each other. You cannot force your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend to stop cheating on you and stop treating you negatively and stop, you know, doing just a whole bunch of things that they know that they're not supposed to be doing. And the whole thing is these people are fully aware of what they're doing. It's not like they don't know that they're doing these things. They're fully aware of what they're doing. And that's why it's such a slap in the face when they do it. Because it's like, damn, how could you do that to me? Me, out of all people? Yes, you out of all people. Because you're allowing it. The more you allow, the more they will do. If I know that I could go to the ATM and $20 is going to be there, guess what? Every time I go to that ATM, I'm going to be expecting to see that $20 there. And if it's there... I'm definitely going to keep expecting that $20 to be there because it's always there. Is it wrong? Yes, it's wrong. You see how that works? You got to stop putting yourself last and putting them first. It needs to be the other way around. You need to put yourself first because the more you put yourself on the back burner, guess what? The more they're going to put, put you on the back burner and keep putting themselves first. It don't matter how you feel. Just do what you said you was going to do for me. It don't matter what you say. Okay, yeah, I love you too. Okay, yeah, you know, I miss you too. Okay, yeah, you know, I want to spend time with you too. Until it's time to actually do it or fulfill them promises, then they're not coming through. Because they already got what they wanted from you. Whatever you're promising them and they're able to get from you, they're going to keep doing whatever it takes to get that from you. It don't matter what it is. You gotta start putting yourself first. Cause if you don't, I promise you, you're gonna always be last. You're always gonna be last. It's not worth it. It's not worth giving somebody that much power over you to have you feeling low about yourself and have you feeling down about yourself because you worried about their actions. Don't worry about their actions. Their actions is going to remain their actions because this is just the type of person that they are. And if it's not you, it will be somebody else. So you have to learn how to cut those ties. Cut those ties. Because if you don't, you're going to be in this turmoil. And it's going to be a constant cycle over and over and over again. It's going to be like a roller coaster for you that you just can't seem to get off of until you decide to jump off. And it's going to hurt. You might even feel like you're about to die. It's going to hurt. But you'll be okay. I promise you, you'll be okay. You got this. Trust me. Just let go. And you will be okay. All right, you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell to get notified every time your girl posts a new video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. But like I said, you got this. Trust me, lady y'all.